So the first method we're going to look at is the grid method for multiplication. Now this is a method that the children are introduced to at some point during year three. It's the go-to method for multiplication in year four, and it sets the children up really nicely for what they're then going to do in year five and year six. And it's really good for calculations such as this, a three-digit number, four-digit number, a five-digit number even, multiplied by a one-digit number. Now, before they're introduced to this method, they will have been... Uh, become really good at something called partitioning. And partitioning is key for this method to work and for the understanding that children will have. Now, by partitioning, we mean looking at that number and knowing what each of the digits represents. So for example, in this, we know that the three represents 300, the four represents 40, and the two obviously represents two. So that number is broken down 342. Now that may appear quite simple at this stage, but that's key to understanding how this method works. Because that aids the setting out of the calculation. So we look at the number 342, we refer back to what the children know about partitioning, and we partition the number, one digit per square. So we've got 300, we've got a 40, and we've got a two and we're multiplying by seven. So what this means is that if we can do seven lots of 300, seven lots of 40, and seven lots of two, then all together we've done seven lots of 342. The children can start with any one of those calculations. I tend to start with the, the simplest. So seven lots of two is 14. Now seven lots of 40, again, before we get to this, the children will have been exposed to calculations such as that and strategies for solving them. So we'd look at uh, what they know, and they know that seven lots of four is 28, and if they know seven lots of four is 28, they know that seven lots of 40 is 10 times bigger than 28, giving 280. And then we've got seven lots of 300, and again, we look at what we know, so they know that basic fact of seven times three is 21, and they can make that 100 times bigger, because it's not seven times three, it's seven times by 300, so that would give 2,100. And then all they need to do is add this together to get the answer. Now, at this point, they can refer back to the column addition that they will have done earlier in the year, and they can see that if you add the uh, the hundreds on, that's 2,380, 2,394. So that's how we teach the grid method for multiplication. And I say it's based very much on the partitioning of the number and understanding that that's not a three, it's a 300, that's not a four, it's a 40, and, and then we've got the two, the, the units there as well. Now this then progresses over, over quite a period of time. It wouldn't be a case of one lesson, they do what I've just said and the next lesson move on to this. Over a period of time, so that they can actually then use the grid method for more complicated calculations, such as 43 times by 76. Now the partitioning works in exactly the same way. The 43 is partitioned into a 40 and a three. The 76 is partitioned into a 70 and a six. And then they'll do 70 lots of 40, 70 lots of 3, 6 lots of 40, and 6 lots of 3. So all together, they've done 43 lots of 76. So if you've got any questions or comments about the grid method for multiplication, you can email me at cbaker at arnavale.nots.sch.uk. The next video in this series will be looking at the expanded method for short multiplication.